Welcome to my channel. I am the Homios, and in this video, we're going to go over booleans and how to fix your collisions to your assets. Most of the time, you import your asset, and it has a collision around your whole asset where your character can't even get near to it. So we're going to go ahead and fix that. So we're going over booleans and collisions in this video. So let's get to it. Okay, so I imported this asset to my engine and everything looks great, but the whole problem is the collisions. I put on collisions and it was just a billable box. I couldn't even enter the ship. So I took off collisions to enter the ship and then I would fall through the corridor or I could just walk through the walls. So I found a technique it was when I went to cut the walls off with my boolean um, and end up fixing everything. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, redo that workflow and show you how to fix it. So let me go back into pull up my Explorer. This is my corridor ship that I got from the uh, iClone 8. So I'm gonna go open up my drawer here and I'm gonna go ahead and import that. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it and drop. So when it comes up, um, I'm not gonna import it with the skeletal mesh. I'm just, so I'm gonna get rid of that. There's no reason to have skeletal mesh. Now you'll see that it's gonna have this button uh, checked. General, mis generate missing collision. So I'm unchecking that because with normal uh, something this size, it's just, it's not create, it's creating a collision everywhere. But if this was just like a box or a lamp, that'd be good. But what I found out is to just make your own collisions is the best way for something so big. And it's just a hallway, so I only need uh, straight corners. I don't need anything specific. So I keep that unchecked and I go ahead and I'm, I'm just go ahead and let it create its new materials. Everything here would stay the same. Um, yeah, and just go ahead and import it. So I go have that imported already, so I don't need to import that. But if I would go ahead and click on it, and I would go over to collisions. Well, first of all, I'll go to show and have it show simple collisions. Now you can see I added this right here. So what I did is I went under collisions and I added the under the X, which would be the floor. I had a simplified collision, but what it did is it boxed it. So what I did is I dropped it down. I ended up moving it. I ended up scaling it down a little bit and I just moved it down to the floor and that's pretty much all I did here so you just say that let me uh, close that out so you go back into your scene and what I want to do here is I want to add in a cube so I'm going to take a box no 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 not that a cube so I'm gonna drop in a cube. Let's get in there, okay. That's pretty much where. You wanna get it center of where you're at. <clears throat> Let's say this doorway, I wanna get it centered because I'm gonna expand the cube. I'm gonna expand the width and I'm gonna expand the height. I'm gonna, okay, I gotta take it down a little bit. I don't wanna have it overlapping too much. I'm really not worried about the sides too much. Just make sure that I get that. And bring it down. Just don't want to go through the floor. Right about there. Okay, that looks good. So I want to click on the corridor, the single mesh, or whatever asset you're trying to cut a hole into. And then hold shift and then click back on to the cube. And then what I want to do is go under select um, selection mode and drop down and you'll find a modeling button. So just go ahead and click on modeling and then you'll see another model button here to the left. 
and you'll see this boolean. You just go ahead and click on the boolean. You apply the boolean to the two selected meshes. So you can see I applied it. So what I want to do is I'm just going to scale these out a little bit. Maneuver this into the center. So I just want to get both sides even. So that looks pretty good right about there. That looks pretty good. So then you hit, once you get it to where you like it, you just go ahead and hit accept. And it'll go ahead and generate. It's gone. So now, if you hit play, you'd see that the light isn't shining through anymore and it generated a collision. Now everything has a collision on it and now I can just keep going through here and drop in some lighting and find my way. So let me go back up to selection mode and I'm going to drop in um, Spotlight, skylight, uh, directional light. Why don't I just drop in a skylight? No, that's too much. Directional light. There we go. Now I can find my way around. Now, if I go into um, my asset again, my corridor ship, let me open that up. And I want to show simple collision, complex collision. And there you can see it has changed now. Now I can get rid of this simple collision, I believe. Let me get my window, let me hit play. So I no longer need that collision, that simple collision, it added complex collision to the assets. Pretty cool, huh? Thank you for watching. Until next time, keep creating.